everyone and thanks for checking out video number two. Um, I've gotten some toys from actually our discount section at work and they looked really interesting because it looks like they've got hair wrapped all the way around them so you can't see who you're getting and I'm really excited and the reason that I'm really excited is that they've made them look like ice cream treats. It's so cool. I saw them and I got really hungry when I saw them. Also want to introduce my little co-host today. This is my pet rat rabbit. Can you say hi rabbit? Say hi everybody. You don't care do you? You don't care? You're still gonna help me today right? Yeah. <laughs> so you're gonna see him kind of popping in and out. He just needed to get some exercise today. <laughs> um, I also want to introduce two new little stuffed animals that I got. Just picked up this Squishmallow today. It's a little dragon and he's got a little cute little tail. He's got his little wings, his little horns, ears. He even has the little scales. He's so adorable. So you'll probably see him popping up in the background of some videos now and then. And I also got another one today. Cute little parrot. And he's got a little tuft of hair up here. He's got his little colorful wings. They didn't give him a tail though. So that's a little disappointing. <laughs> they really, they missed a chance. These are rainbow. Could have had a whole rainbow tail miss their chance. <laughs> so anyway, you guys will probably see those popping up in the background every once in a while. Today we have Cthulhu and my Deadpool plushie. Also bought at work. Very great finds. Very happy about those. <laughs> um, so without any further ado, this is the first one that I found. Uh, it's called Candy Locks. I've never heard of them before, but they looked very fun. The hair looks very, very soft almost like a felt I don't even know but we're gonna see if I can actually get this open <laughs> I'm gonna get the scissors though just in case which always handy dandy kept right where they should be on the edge of the bed let me get that little thing off there are you gonna come help <laughs> let me see if I can figure out how to open this first of all this is this is one of my favorite things when they toy proof toys or kid proof toys, I should say. It's always a fun little thing. Here. I'm going to have to cut. This doesn't, it says open here right at the top, but it doesn't separate anywhere. Like it's, it's sealed shut. Like they took heat and they sealed it shut. So let me see if I can get it open now that I've gotten that far here. Is there still no opening? It says open right here. It says open here. Let me in. <gasps> Yay! I'm in! <laughs> it's going to be the most exciting part of the whole video. Just me getting into it. Oh, really? You know, they really don't want you getting into this. Here we go. That was loud. I'm sorry. That was really really that's still loud that's that's annoying. that's no fun oh I was right the hair soft I'm excited oh coming apart a little bit oh oh cool little mystery bag I can't wait to see what's in there so this is what I was talking about with it looking like ice cream they've added a little bit of paper down at the bottom just to make it a cute little little cone it's flat on this side but oh, so lusciously on this side full. Yes. So let me see if I can. <gasps> There's another hidden thing inside the paper. I can't get it out. Look, it's so tiny. Ah, wonder what's in there. Oh, I'm so excited. This is attached to a piece of plastic that looks like it goes up inside the hair. So let me see if I can get this hair unraveled. <gasps> I see that. Ah, where does it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Couldn't find the other start. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so much hair. This is like Rapunzel. Let's see, oh, there we go. Okay, so that's attached to her feet. So let's get that. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is so long. Like here's my arm and look at that. That's the length of my arm. That's almost a foot of hair. Goodness gracious. 
Let me get a little bit closer here so you guys can see. I'm not a fan of how they've attached the hair to the head because there's a very big gap, but look at how cute that is. Her little cheeks. Oh, that is so cute. She has a little strawberry. Yes. But as you can see, there's kind of a hole where it's attached, which is interesting. Um, it looks like it's tied around something inside though. So it looks like it's going to be pretty sturdy. So I guess now you can just play with the hair. You can braid it and, oh, that's, ew. that's going to happen. It's, it's the stuff that it's made of. So, I mean, it looks like some of it's tied. So, I mean, you could tie it in knots. You could, let me see what I can do here with this. I'm not good at hair stuff. Like I've never been good at hair stuff. So don't, don't expect a miracle. <laughs> it's not going to be the perfect braid you've seen in all the movies. Oh, see, there we go. Got a little, little knot in there. I'm going to be having fun with this for like hours. It doesn't take a lot to entertain me, but this would be a great way to practice braiding and knotting and different hairstyles. If you have one of those, um, I'm not sure what it's called. It's uh, like a little plastic flat dulled needle, but it has a little loop attached to it. So you can grab pieces of hair and thread it through different areas. This would definitely fit through one of those uh, hoops or you can kind of squish it down to get inside. So, I mean, this would be a great way to practice and I'm definitely going to be doing that because that's something that I want to do with my hair because it's, all oh, this is growing out some and I'd like to be able to braid it and I can't braid. Braiding's hard when you can't see what you're doing. <laughs> oh, this is so darling. I wonder if these are like completely discontinued. <gasps> Her shoes have hearts. That is her high heels. They have little hearts. That is so cute. Oh, that is adorable. But to the next big endeavor, let's see what these mystery bags are because I don't know if I should be expecting like a pet, hair accessories. So let me get this cut open. What's our first one? Oh yeah. Oh, I see a bow. That's it. Oh, oh. We come wrapped. Not only is it a mystery gift, it's a wrapped mystery gift. That's like getting a box inside a box. <laughs> Actually, this looks like it might be in the instructions. Which for this... <gasps> See, I was just talking about that thing with like the loop and stuff. And this kind of has a little bit of loop. Not exactly what I meant, but... Yeah, close enough. I mean, that would definitely, look at that. That's a cute accessory, a little cute little bow. Yes, it's, yes. Oh, we have another little pick. This time it's a little cher uh, strawberry. Sorry, I almost said cherry. <laughs> is that focusing? That is not, sorry guys, that is, that did not want to focus. But yeah, that's a little bit of strawberry. It even has little seed details on it. They're not colored like a uh, normal strawberry would be, but they're definitely there and you can feel them and everything. So that's really cool. Let me see what, oh, 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 oh. This looks fun. It's all twisty and bendy and it's a cute color too. It's all blue and pink. Perfection. So let me see what all came in this little one and then we'll open up the next one. So let's see, let's open this first one. Oh, the collector strip so you can see which one you've got. <laughs> see how many there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Wow, there's tw 22 on this page alone that you can collect. That is nuts. So which one, let's try, I'm going to try and figure out which one I got here. That strawberry guy. Hmm. Those are really cute. It looks like I got the one called Straw Mary. 
That's a very cute play on words, strawberry. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, this is cool. It also shows you different ways to style the hair on here. So let me see if I can get this to focus for you guys. So it's got kind of little instruction booklets on kind of, you know, how to do it, where to fold, where to tie the knots and everything. That's really cool. That's interesting. That's, that's going to be nice. That's going to be fun to play with. Now this must be the actual instruction booklets, you know, don't, don't eat this. Make sure you keep that away from three-year-olds, the standard everything. So let me see. Maybe, I'm hoping that there's more instructions on like hair and like what all you can do with it. All right. We have more instructions and they're backside. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to try and show just a little bit of this, um, just more like how to do the hair and different styles and everything, how to use that little bendy thing, how to use the little straws. There's some more on this side for how to do different things. So that's really cool. They give you a lot of different ways to do hair on here. So that's, that's pretty good. I'm just going to I'm never going to get that to fold back up right. Neither am I going to get this to fold back up right either. So, you know, that's, that's done. <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt it. <laughs> All right. So before I forget, we also have this last little one. And I'm thinking it's probably going to be a strawberry if this is strawberry. So let me see here. Did I go down? Yeah. All right. What do we got in here? Okay, so it looks like we've got some gems that we can put in our hair. Let's see, we've got a little star and we got a little, uh, kind of looks like a diamond or a rhombus, I think, pink one. And that is, that is not showing up. Good Lord. <laughs> Nothing wants to focus. <laughs> Okay, we got that one, the star, and we also got a cute little heart that we can put in. Uh, I think they go in the hair, judging by the little patch on the back here. Let me see if I can get that to show up. It kind of looks like a little uh, Velcro patch, like the stuff that the Velcro attaches to. Let me try this here. Let me just apply that to her hair and that. Hey, pretty good guess. <laughs> So they're really cute. They're like little rhinestones almost. Um, it's not the best when you pull it off the hair because then the hair kind of comes out. But I mean, this stuff is really nice though because even if it all comes out, there's still threads in a way. So you can still do all sorts of stuff with it. So even after you've played with it for hours and hours and hours and just absolutely decimated her poor hair, um, you can still use it. That's the best part about this weird felty type stuff little not. <laughs> All right. So we have that for our first one. And then, like I said, I've got a second one over here. That's a little bit bigger than that one. So I think it has a little bit more in it. Not really sure. They were just on sale and I grabbed them because I'm like, this looks like my kind of fun. Are you still in there? Hello. Would you like to come say hi again? Yeah, you're over this, huh? You don't care anymore. He doesn't care. See, I try to get him to do things with me and he just, I'm just going to sit in my house and sleep. <laughs> All right. So have this other one. This is kind of the back side, and it kind of tells you, yeah, this one, I'm pretty sure just tells you what you're getting in it based on kind of this bottom area. So we'll see if that matches up. At least this one will hopefully be easier to get into because it's not heat sealed plastic. And as I say, then I can't get it open. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, there we go. Got to separate. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Victory is mine. Would you like to sniff? You don't even want to sniff? All right, let's crack this baby open here. 
Oh my gosh, how many layers of plastic are on this? So much plastic. This is such a waste of plastic, really. Okay, well, you know what? Before I get it out, I'll show you the packaging because it's just going to fall apart probably. <laughs> so again, it's another one where it's like little ice cream things. So this one, I guess, is supposed to be a little ice lolly. And I think this will be the pet over here because it did say it came with a little pet, which I think is going to be a cute little squirrel. And that one they have dressed up like a little tiny ice cream cone. I think that was part of my appeal was that it was food shaped. Tape. My worst enemy. Oh. I win. I'm gonna try and get these little accessories out now. <laughs> video just me struggling with plastic today oh no I think I broke it how was it supposed to happen but I have a hot glue gun so two seconds with a hot glue gun and I can fix it if it's actually broken it's not that comes out okay cool so wonder if that works with the other ones I'm gonna check something really quick no, yeah, this one is solid plastic. Okay, so I got another little hair clippy thingy uh, from the bigger one. And this one, uh, the other little mini ones that we got, those ones are fused together plastic. This one comes apart. So that's kind of cool. So I'm thinking if you had a bunch of other ones, bigger ones like these ones, you could pull them apart and mix and match the colors. So that could be kind of fun. So let me see. So we've got a cute little bow and I still have to get this other one out. It looks like it's a, like a, made to look like a comb, um, but actually isn't a comb. Maybe just something to like get stuck in her hair, which I can relate to uh, when my hair was a lot longer. I used to use a brush that was designed for dog fur because there was so much hair. And even that would still get stuck. <laughs> I feel like feel like I can relate to this toy. This does not want to come out. Goodness gracious. I'm gonna win the battle. <laughs> I win. Okay, yep, I was right. It's like a little comb. Uh, you can kind of see all the little little bristly details there. Let me try. To, there we go. You can kind of see the little bristles uh, or what are supposed to be bristles. And then the backside is a cute little strawberry with chocolate. Um, I can't tell if it's supposed to be like strawberry sauce dripping off, dripping off the chalk. If I can learn to speak. <laughs> I can't tell if the strawberry sauce is dripping off the strawberry or if there's chocolate dripping off the strawberry itself. Not quite sure. I'm going to say it's the chocolate dripping off since the uh, strawberries are pink. Strawberries are red. I don't know. All right. So let's start with the little one here because I want to see what this pet is because this looked really cute on the box. Looks like it's got the same hair color as the owner. Yep. It's a cute little strawberry chocolate covered squirrel nose oh so yep yeah, so this is the same setup it has three locks of hair that you can play with so let me let me try braiding this really quick I want to see if I could braid this because my braiding sucks like I can do a really decent regular old standard braid but when you get into like fishtail and stuff I can't do that that is very hard you have to hold it all tight and your arms get tired after being held high so long. Yeah, that was... Okay, see? Cute little fast braid. See, I can do a basic one. Can't do a nice one. And then it sticks out like a mohawk. <laughs> All right, looks like we got more instructions. So I want to take a look at this really quick before we get to the main doll here. And see, yep. So this has uh, more ways to do the hair. Also is on the back side. Wait, what is this? Is this 
like showing me. What? What? Sorry, I'm trying to figure out what they're showing me here. So we've got these kind of like little doodads here that show what the accessories are. And I'm not sure if that's just showing the backside or if like the comb does something. Let me see here. Because it shows, see it's showing the little hearts here and then it shows, I'm assuming it's just the backside. I mean, the comb fits in there. It's, it's round, like, hmm. I kind of wonder if maybe you could use it as a stamp. If you fill that with a little bit of ink and just dunk that in and just go stamp, 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 stamp. I don't know. That's, that's very interesting. I'm not sure on that, but I'll take it. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's get this little gal on her. Ooh, I like this one. It's part, go from green to pink to green. So that's kind of, that's a nice little touch. <gasps> her dress is so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. I like this one, I think, better. This one has a cute little dress and roller skates, not high heels. I am all for the roller skates. Check her out. Look at her. Oh, that is so cute. Little makeup. Oh, if only I could get my makeup to look like that when I actually do it. Look at her with her roller skates. Look at those. Those are so cute. So this has the same setup as the other one, and I think they're about the same size, even though it was smaller pack. Yep. Okay, I take that back. She's a little bit taller than the other one. But that is still really cool. I blame it on the skates. Skates always give you height. 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 But I like her hair. Like, this one's all wrapped with a little bit of cord, it looks like, to make it kind of um, curly in a way. Type of curly. And this one's really thick, and this one's really thin. So there's a little bit more variety in her hair than there is on the first one. The first one, everything was about the same width, same length, same everything. Um, and it was just, this is the color it is. This is the color that this one is. But this one's got a plethora of colors in one strand. It's the same colors all the way down, mind you, but still. So this is the same thing. You just play with the hair and stuff. There's a little knot here already. Um, let me see if I can take that out because I'm interested to see. I mean, I'm sure it'll come out. Why not? Let's see if it has to be there. That's the question, isn't it? Does this have to be here or can I take it out? Oh my gosh. Okay, there's the end. Oh! Okay. You can take out the knots that are pre-done for you. It looks like those are the ones that are kind of holding in the hair. Um, let me see if I can get this on here. You can kind of see there's little plastic bobs in there so you can see how they weave the hair underneath to keep it in. So the hair is definitely in there very well. So if you get one of these, I would recommend keeping the first little knot in there or uh, redoing it like I just did, just to kind of make it um, a little bit sturdier and make sure the hair stays in. Because it looks like if you take that out, grab one of these and just go for it, it'll just slip right out and then you're just gonna have a long strand of this and I don't know what you're gonna do with it. I'm sure there are plenty of things to do with it though. <laughs> so let me see, yep. That one did not come with any surprise accessories, unlike the first one. So that was a lot more fun, I think, getting to open up those little packets. And yeah, those are my new toys. <laughs> so those are my new toys and got some cute little accessories to play with. All that jazz. I do want to do a quick follow-up. I have it over here. For those that watched my first video of the slime, I've left it alone for a few days inside the container. 
kept it over here by my bed and now I'm going to get this thing open really quick and see if it's still squishy or if it has dried in the container at all if it's still hard because I think part of the problem is that it's cheap oh we are still very squishy in here because I think part of the problem when I was playing with it the other day is that it's kind of felt like one of those ones where if you just keep playing with it and kneading it and everything then it just keeps mixing until it's mixed too much so oh this is actually uh better than when I played with it the other day it's still pretty sticky in some parts wow but that is really, this is going a lot better. I think I should have let it sit for a little bit before I was playing with it the other day. I'm kind of wondering, because it was starting to get a little bit warm. This is colder and it's not uh, breaking as much when I do this with it. So that's really nice. So I think I would recommend this cheap slime from Target. Thank you, Target, for always being there for me with the cheap toys. I have some other cheap toys that I bought from the dollar section at Target, and I wish I had gotten more of them because there's only 64 of them in there, and they're these little puzzle pieces, and you just fit them together. And I found it very relaxing because all I did was sit there and make boxes, 3D boxes with them. And... It's just, this is the only part that I don't like. I've got pieces of, oh, oh, crap. Uh, I now have pieces of slime like all over my hands. I'm not, not liking that. I'm not a fan of sticky. This isn't sticky by any means, but it's kind of annoying. The only thing that I can equate this to is uh, uh, when I picked up a slug. <laughs> probably not what you want to hear but it's true this is this is what the mucus was like watching the slug climb around on my fingers best field trip ever by the way that was I loved that field trip I don't know why that story's come up a lot lately for me maybe it's because I played with this the other day I'm so sorry. Now I just have slime stuck all over my hand and I'm not really sure how to get it all off. Help. Oh, mistakes have been made. Okay. No, 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 not there. Get off my pants. I have slime on my pants. Okay. This is... I'm uh, going to end my video here while I continue to try to pick slime off of my hand. Mm, internal screaming. Okay. Well, if nothing else, my ring will be clean after this. That'll, that's a plus. Ooh. Yeah. All right, so uh, I'm going to end my video here while I continue to pick slime off of my fingers. I think I may just have to go wash the rest off. It's kind of come apart and it's on my pants. It's okay. Um, but yeah, I will be back with another video. Not quite sure when, but I will be back. Uh, thank you to everybody, by the way, that's watched my first video so far. If you haven't seen that, please... Go watch me make a fool of myself, as I've done today, by getting this. And if you have any comments or suggestions on things that I could try, or ways that I can improve the video, please feel free to leave a very long comment down below. And if you are digging what I'm doing so far, Please.